what's just like a glimmer of hope for you that you've seen emerge from this? Matt, as you were asking that whole question, goosebumps covered my whole body because the explosion of the kingdom of God over the last six or seven weeks has been a, a sight to behold for me. I mean, we, our, you, you know, I don't like it when pastors talk about numbers because it, it just really doesn't seem to be the point to me. Like, you know, you talk to pastors like, oh, we went from 12 people in my living room to 50,000 on a Sunday, whatever. Like they're always talking about numbers. But I do have to say, you know, our church in the metro New York City area, it's about a 500 person church, which is large for this area of the world. You know, it's not large if you go to Texas or something, but for us around here, that's already pretty large. But when the, when the church quote unquote shut down seven weeks ago, we went online, you know, I had an amazing staff who really basically went into startup mode and transitioned the entire platform of the ministry from in-person to online. Those first couple Sundays, we were reaching 1600 people with our services and people are signing up. We're, we're now doing like online alpha class. One of our pastors started a Thursday night Zoom with um, one of his friends in the congregation who's in his 20s, who has a ton of non-Christian friends. And the, the young man in our congregation invited his friends like, hey, come on Thursday nights for like a happy hour with my pastor. You can ask him any spiritual questions you want. Well, something like 17 to 20 people now every Thursday night, non-Christians, are signing onto this call. And, and some of them are coming to Christ for the first time in their lives through this. I hold in my hand right now uh, a little note, a handwritten note from a little old lady named Ethel. Okay. It's, it's dated April 27. And it says this, just a short note to let you know what a blessing streaming your service has meant to our family. I live in Charleston, South Carolina. One son lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and my other son's family lives in Greenwich. On Sunday, we all attend church together. Thank you, Ethel. Think about that, Matt. Here's a family now, because of our live stream worship services, which we didn't weren't really doing very effectively before, now here's a family all over the nation spread out, and they all gather for church, quote unquote, together on Sunday mornings with their mom, Ethel. <laughs> I mean, you can't make this stuff up. There's just so much there's I could.